ArcGIS Online can be used in powerful ways for teaching and learning, but also in the event of a natural disaster to actually help people save lives and to save property. Well, we're going to use the tragic event of the March 2014 Oso Washington landslide. We're going to look at some LIDAR hillshades. Now, LIDAR is the, a kind of remote sensing imagery that's light detecting and radar. And without going into too much detail, you can do some investigating on your own to figure out what LIDAR is. But it gives us a really super accurate uh, image of terrain or buildings in a city for that matter or streetscapes. It's used in lots of different 3D analysis uh, applications. We're going to take a look at the bare earth, bare earth hill shade from the Oso slide. We're going to add it to a map inside ArcGIS Online right now. And we're going to take a look at what we've got here. See, this is a, a hill shade, so you've got 255 gray tones. I'm going to turn this off for the moment just so you can see. You know what? We've got some old scars from some older landslides down here. Look at this down downstream here. But let's take a look at the current event. Now, I'm taking a look at this LIDAR image on top of the existing hill shade. And you can see right here, if we take off, you see the new landslide right there, and you see the, de the debris. Now, it's interesting because LIDAR imagery can be can be gathered rather quickly and it results in a very accurate image of the Earth's surface. So you can see that the stream was undercutting but now we've got even further up the slope here this devastating event. So take a look at this aerial LIDAR bare earth hill shade but also there is something called the LIDAR first return from the slide area. We're going to go ahead and add that to a new map and take a look at that as well. So this is a different kind of LIDAR. Uh, it's the first return. So take a look at the differences between that and this. It's another way of examining what's going on on the Earth's surface. And you can get really tight in here and see some incredible detail uh, with trees that are in the debris field with this kind of image. Also, since it's inside ArcGIS Online, you can change the base image from, say, a topographic base. Let's change it to an image base. Now, this image is going to be, of course, before the landslide. But now we can see that, gosh, things that were looking relatively calm and these folks in here when their homes is now completely buried, right? You can change it to different kinds of images if you want to. But let's take a look at that. Okay, so these images are really powerful to be able to use to understand the extent. You can use the measure tool to measure the extent of, let's say, square kilometers around this area. So you can do this kind of thing where you're measuring the extent of the slide, that type of thing. So and this is this is quite a big area here, and I might basic sketch resulted in over one square kilometer. Uh, so that's a huge area that's that's affected. And of course, not just this square kilometer, but what about this river and these folks upstream and downstream that, that are affected and will continue to be so long after this kind of fades from the news. So these two images, these two LIDAR images, can be used quite effectively inside ArcGIS Online. Thanks.